Hey guys. So today we're doing our fall favorites slash get to know me. Um, we will be answering the same questions that Jacqueline Hill did on her channel. And the reason why we decided to do our fall favorites is because fall for us is all year round. Um, we live in California, so I guess um, fall is pretty much like in our heads. You know, we're a little crazy. But um, it's just we love the weather so much. We love the style. We love the colors. We love the holidays that are involved. And pretty much now that it's going to be October, this is when we actually shop oh, and yeah. do a huge haul for our <laughs> home decor. That's just how we work. That's just how yeah. we grow. We're going to start off with our favorite candle. Erica and I really like this candle called Dia de los Muertos and it actually is from DW Home Candles but we found it at Ross. The scent is flan, well spiced flan and um, actually I don't like flan. I don't like eating it. I don't like the texture and I don't like the taste but the smell of it is awesome. It's it's amazing. It's kind of like cinnamony. It just it kind of reminds you of just fall i don't know how to explain it yeah. i know it sounds like, like weird like that's pumpkin spice no that, no no this it's delicious it smells is... amazing i think it kind of smells like grandma's house like mm, grandma's house that's what it smells like to me so the next thing we're doing is our favorite lipsticks for fall which with us again is um all year round <laughs> it's um more than anything it's a lot of reds um me and erica narrowed down to my top three favorite red lipsticks or red hues and um there is one that i just need to throw in there because i really do love it for fall or for any other time of the year um and erica was able to narrow down her collection to three my top right now and I just bought this one about a week ago. It's the Alley Girl Matte Lipstick. It's called Runway. I'll swatch it for you. It's really nice. Yeah, so it's a really nice um, dark red. I have it on right now. And then my next one is from L'Oreal. It's called Zoe's Red. This one is so nice. It's supposed to be matte too. This is the package. I love the packaging. It's cute. It's, it's matted. It's matted. Yeah. yeah. It's adorable. So this is this is the red. That's so nice. That's it's very nice. I fell in love with it. And then I have this one from Rimmel from Kate Moss. That one's pretty. That's it's a color. nice red. Kind of looks the same, but on ca on camera it's not gonna. It doesn't show, but they are different shades of red. But so those are my favorite at the moment. Uh, my favorite three reds are these. The first one I'm gonna be talking about is Melt. I had to get my hands on Dark Room, so this is Dark Room by Melt, and if you can see the colors, I kind of like a purpley burgundy it's really pretty uh, so when I swatch it let's take that that's how pretty that is it's um it is a matte it's not as creamy or velvety as the alley girl but I think that's the whole point of it their formula is very different it I guess it depends on your your preference yeah is what it is what it depends on yeah the other two are um actually liquid lipsticks that dry matte and um my one of my favorites and it's because it's really dark is by anastasia and it's in the color vamp and this is more like a dark brown mixed with a little bit of red in there kind of like a brick color and when you swatch this it's honestly really dark but it's amazing and i love it I just love it. It's like that really nice brown red. It's yeah. just perfect. It's a perfect. It's a perfect vampy look. Yeah. Exactly like the name. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously that's what I always go for. The next one is actually by Lime Crime. Um, it's Riot and it's my favorite. Like this one and the next one I will show you are my top. And I always carry them in my purse or in my backpack. 
and this is more like a it's also like a reddish brown but it's more in like the nude side like the nude side of the spectrum and I'm actually wearing that right now like it's mixed with the next one that I'm going to show you and this is it right here and what I love about it is that like right now like I feel like I have a lipstick but then I don't feel like I have a lipstick and I don't have to worry about it cracking and I don't have to worry about like having to touch it up again and it doesn't get on the bottom of my lip which I absolutely love and um it's just amazing I, I love it those those reds are just I can't get enough of it I can't get enough of them and then with like a red smoky eye or like a magenta smoky eye I just I love it right now like that's my thing that's my jam what I should oh my god <laughs> the next one is also by lime cream and actually i couldn't wait to get this one i kept having my eye on it i kept looking at it on their website and it's cashmere and this one is actually pretty interesting i kind of think of it as a chameleon lipstick and the reason why is mm -hmm. i've changed my hair color a few times and each time i change my hair color the lipstick looks different it's like a different shade on my lips and I love it. It goes from like a purpley gray to like a gray to like a nude. To, I just, it's, it's very interesting, but I love it. I really do. I can't get enough of these two. These two Lime Crime lipsticks, I just, I can't. Like, I have to get their whole collection now because of it. I only got these two because I really needed to get them. Like, they were my goal. Mm -hmm. And so once I did get them, I wasn't sure if I was going to like them. So I didn't want to buy so many more. And I do. I love them. And I can't wait to get more. Those are our favorite lipsticks. <laughs> Next is our favorite drink. And um, this is actually pretty funny because um, Erica and I both don't have like a hot favorite drink from anywhere. Um, if we drink coffee, we like it from home. And um, the only thing that we really do love is Chocolate de la Abuelita. But that's also from home, or you can get it from, um... Tierra Mía. Tierra Mía. Yeah, I don't know where else they right. have Tierra Mía. Yeah, but we have two Tierra Mías by us. So, yeah, but I still wouldn't order it, honestly. I'm more of, like, a cold drink kind of gal, no matter how cold it is outside. Mm -hmm. I will always have a cold drink. Always, no matter what it is. It will be cold. If there's coffee, I like to wait until the coffee is, like, cold. So that I can put it in a cup with some ice and that's my coffee. <laughs> like seriously. So that's our favorite drink. And now we're going to our favorite blush. Um, I have a few blushes but more of them I like to use them as, um, as a bronzer just because I am very light skinned. And um, I don't really like pink that's just there like even if it's a baby pink or for my skin I don't like it I like only different shades because of um because when I freelance I need different shades but my all-time favorite is the one that I'm wearing now and that one is dainty is this one dainty by mac and if you can see it's like a peach tone it's a peach color and it has like Flecks of gold in it. I mean, you can see it kind of looks, in a way, it kind of looks like a highlight, but it's yeah. not. But I like looking dewy just because I do have like dry to combination skin. So I don't like to look fully matted. And um, I really, really, really love this shade. And I haven't been able to find another one like it. So again, it's Dainty by MAC. And it's a mineralized blush. And maybe that's why there's so much shimmer in it. So that's my favorite, like my all-time favorite blush. So I don't own a lot of blushes. I only own this palette from BH Cosmetics. Oh, pretty big. It has ten different shades. So th these are the only blushes I own because I'm dark-skinned. So I feel like I don't know. But those are quite a few of blushes. Honestly, it's just yeah. all in a pan. Yeah. So I feel like these colors would look better on me. I do use these. I kind of tend to like just put my brush all around it to just like combine all and then it looks nice but I don't really wear it all that much. This is a really good palette though. So I think if you're in to invest in a palette I think it would be BH Cosmetics. BH Cosmetics. Their stuff is very inexpensive and um, I just like it a lot. And next on the list 
is our favorite fall item and um, this is more in particular into the clothing item um, mine is beanies I love beanies um, when it's fall like right now I live in California so well we live in California so right now actually the weather is pretty nice outside it's actually windy and it looks like it's gonna rain but earlier there was like sun like oh God, summer so hot. um but i always carry a beanie inside with me in my bag just because you never know here in california and um that's just the item that i just need i have curly hair um i do straighten it and i do curl it like the curls um but i really don't like my hair all natural so that's why I love beanies because I can straighten my hair and then my beanie will protect it from it getting curly. And that's why I think that's more than anything that's why I like it so much. So I need a beanie in my life always. Mm. Makes sense. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> my favorite clothing or fall item um, would have to be um, a knit sweater, a long sweater that I could wear with leggings and cute boots or doesn't have to be boots just cute shoes or whatever um but yeah that's my favorite i like sweaters and stuff like that even like hoodies but don't stick your toe the next item is actually my favorite just because i'm a big movie buff or movie freak um more of like a movie critic um it's to the point where me and my brothers will always quote lines like always <laughs> it is in our day to day life like there is line quotes every day, everywhere all the time in our vocabulary like that's that's just how we work and we'll say something and be like where's it from it's like a game you know like where's that from where's yeah that from? like we'll Who have a random what? conversation and they'll say like a line from a movie and they'll be like where's that from and then they'll start laughing and i'm just like it, that's how life is. <laughs> but anywho, our favorite fall movies. Um, first and foremost, we're going to do the most favorite just because this is the one where we absolutely have to watch it during Halloween. And then most likely after Halloween, we won't watch it anymore. It. So it is Hocus Pocus. This is our all-time favorite movie. I just love everything about it. It's just, it's hilarious. It's, it's funny. I just, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's funny. Um, so yeah, so I just, I absolutely love it. We both absolutely love it. And it's just a must. It just has to be there in our disposal. We love it so much we have two copies of this. I have one and she has one, just in case of a backup. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next one. Now this is, this is a must. In your collection, it has to be there. It just has And if it's to. not, then we can't be friends you could... anymore. If you don't like this... I just, um, I don't um, know what to tell you. In the words of Manny M.U.A., don't fucking wash it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas. The next one's our all-time favorite. Um, it is for me, and I know it is for her as well. And um, I pretty much love anything that Tim Burton does. I'm a freak like that. Um, I know that there's a few movies that um, he just really lost his touch, but I just don't care because I will, still, I will still watch it. And um, it's Beetlejuice. I love it so much. Lydia, she's my boo. She's my boo. And I love her so much. I just do. And it's to the point where, like, I was, we were talking about this earlier, that for my quinceanera, I wanted her red wedding dress. It's insane. It's I know. Perfect. It's perfect. It's just amazing. Like, I love it. I love it. And I did have my hair like that for a while. So, yes, I did have black. But I will never go back to black. Sorry. But this movie is amazing. It's just amazing. I kind of want to watch it right now. I know. Me too. So, those are our favorite movies. Those are it. It's uh, four of them, I believe. Right? Um, those are favorite movies. And then next, it is our favorite fall TV show. Since you guys heard us say that we just absolutely love zombies, obviously. It's gonna be The Walking Dead. I'm excited for that. Oh it's my coming god. Up. I cannot I'm excited. wait. I can't wait. Like I just I can't. Like start today. And tomorrow. <laughs> and the day after. I hate it. I hate the fact I hate it because 
they only give us once a week and it's just like really like why couldn't it be like back in the day where like it was every single day except the weekends yeah like, why can't they like that? a novella yeah why like a novella like it'd be like come on at 10 like every day like why? is that so hard yeah is it is that so hard is for it <laughs> anyways so that's one of them i know that she's looking forward to gray's anatomy i oh, am not yeah. just because um my dreamy is not there anymore oh my god and like can we just my talk life about is like ruined can we just talk about that episode no. where he passed the- I don't want to talk about it. It's just bawling. Uh, bawling. I'm like really if, upset. No. I, I am really upset that he's gone. I'm so upset, but I was crying like if like if he was a your... family member or my he was my husband. That's how I was crying. Can you believe that? Yes. It's a freaking show. Yes, I can. But I love it. <laughs> I won't watch it anymore. I but know. um I will go back to like on Netflix and I'll oh, go yeah. rewatch all the seasons. But I I don't know. I guess I want to watch it now just because I'm a little curious. But I'm not like, it's not like, I'm not religiously watching it like I used to. Um, another one that we were looking forward to, but they're not coming out until May, is um, New Girl. New Girl. And that's because she's pregnant. But I'm so happy she's pregnant. Like I'm happy too, but can't they just be like smart about it like they did with like The Office or any other show and just like hide her stomach? Like, come on now can't make it that obvious yes it happens it works okay. but yeah it should return in may but it's so that's long far away now. that's far away it's not oh, enough well. okay so our favorite halloween costume that we have been um my daughter is going to be three this year so i mean before i had her my all-time favorite one was the other los muertos painting and outfit that I did for myself and my husband um we did it way before it got very popular way before it was like the it thing to do or whatever um and that was my favorite but now that I have my daughter um I think my favorite was last Halloween we were both little kittens and it was just so cute I love the fact that she's like my little mini me you know and um I love doing things with her and I, I just thought that was pretty awesome and I can't wait for. It was really gonna, cute. <laughs> I can't wait for what we're gonna do this year. I still don't know what we're gonna do. Um, she really wants to be, I think, Snow White, and she loves Ariel. <gasps> Ariel's her all-time favorite um, princess. But we're already doing an Ariel-themed birthday party, so I think she wants to be Snow White. And I already have her costume, and so I'm kind of thinking of being the evil witch or the evil queen. I mean, that would be. And I'm kind of awesome. like, I don't know, because I don't know if you I should, should be the, be old, the old lady, lady version. Ugh. You should. I don't you want should. to. What the? <laughs> uh, that's funny. What the? F- so I was telling um my husband that he should be the um the huntsman, or he should just be like you know the dwarves when they're dancing. You know when like Dobie's on top of like Sneezy and they're wearing like this coat. I was saying that he should be him and them and just pretend like there's two midgets under him. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was a good idea, but now that I said it out loud, I think it's kind of dumb. But okay, that's <laughs> okay. That's it. That's oh for, that's my it for me. Gosh. Okay, my favorite costume was two years ago with my son. I was Dorothy, and he was the lion. I think it was perfect. And yeah, that was my favorite. This year, he wants to be Jack, so I'll probably be Sally. Um, I'll see. I'll see. But I think that'd be pretty yeah. cool. So those are our fall favorites. Um, so yeah, please subscribe. Let us know what you want to see. Um, we will be doing makeup tutorials, so please let us know what you want to see. Um, it's kind of unique in a way because we will be doing makeup tutorials together. Um, we do have different skin types, which I absolutely love. We both have. Um, she has oily skin and yeah. I have dry skin. So um, in our channels, we'll be showing you both if you want to see both. If you want to see one in particular, then depending on um, our expertise, then that's how we will be going about it. Give us a thumbs up. We'll be linking down below um, the makeup that we talked about today and any of the movies. Um, oh, also our Instagrams. Um, our main Instagram, The Classic Ditches. We'll post, we'll link it down below. Also, our individual ones, just so you just guys so can you see. know. Okay, so bye, guys. Bye. bye.